everyone, I'm Professor Kim and we are talking about circuit, a practice problem to be specific, and we are going to use uh, power energy conservation in a circuit and solve a practice problem. This is also in the Irwin 12th edition book, problem E1.5, so let's get to it. Here we're looking at a problem and the first thing we do when we have a problem is we read the problem and figure out what we're trying to find. So, find the power absorbed or supply, supplied by each circuit element. So we have a circuit with three components, three elements, and so the next step, once we read it, is to write down what we want to solve for. So, I'm just going to write down over here, we want to get the power of each of them. So the first component, we're going to say is this uh, 24 volt, so we want P I'm just going to write it like this, 24 volt. We want to find that value. And we want to figure out if it is absorbed or supplied, and then the value. Okay, so then let's look at our next component. The next one is going to be the power of component. We're just calling it 1, so we'll find that value as well. And then the last one is going to be of this dependent source. So it's going to be, you're going to call it P4IX. So I recommend writing down the values you want to find just so you know what you're looking for. Now we need to find each of them. Let's just start with in order. So we're going to start with this P24 volts. And so let's look at our component over here. We have 24 volts and the current direction, we see the current down here, it's going clockwise here and it's 4 amps. So I'm going to draw this little arrow coming out of here. Because it's coming out of the positive, it's going to be acting like a supply, a source. So here we can already write supplied. And now we need to figure out the value. So always go back to your fundamentals for this. P equals IV. Here we're dealing with all DC values, so I'm just going to use capitals. Um, the current is going to be 4 amps, so we have 4 amps, and our voltage is going to be 24 volts. So, and I'll just rewrite this down here. We have these two components. When we multiply them together, we're going to get 96, and make sure to check our units. When we do uh, volts times amps, we get watts, and power is in watts. So that's going to be our answer for the first one. So 96 watts supplied. Great, so let's go to our next one. Our next one we see um, is 8 volts. And let's look at the current again. So the current is going into here. So this time, it's, this is a plus on the left side. It's going into this component. So this is acting like a load. So we would say that the power here is going to be absorbed. So here, let's just write that first. Absorbed. Okay, now we just multiply them together. So I know I'm writing at an angle, I'll try not to do that, it's really hard. So we have eight volts and then times we have four amps. All right, so we should get 32 uh, watts. So that's our answer here, very direct. All right, now our last one, which might be a little tricky if you're not used to dependent sources. So this is a dependent source. So the voltage, dependent voltage source the voltage here depends on this multiplication. So first of all, what is this voltage? Well, what is Ix? Ix is right here. Ix is 4 amps. So the volt here, the volts, let me just write this here, 4 Ix. So the voltage here is actually going to be 4 times 4. And then that's the, actually will be in volts. And then we're going to multiply that by the current going through it. The current going through here is 4 amps, but I did jump ahead of myself a little bit here. Look at the arrow here. The current is going into this component, so it's going to be acting like a load absorbing power. So we can write that here first. All right, now let's go back to the calculation for the power. So we have 4 amps, and we knew that the voltage here is 4 times 4 is 16, so we have another 4 amps here, and that should give us 64 watts, so that should be here. 
Since you're doing so many individual calculations, the way to check if it is correct is to use Telehen's theorem, and that is to check all the absorbed, make sure the absorbed power, the sum of all the absorbed, is equal to all the sum of all the supplied. So if we look at our values here, we can see 96 is supplied. So these two better add up and they do. So we can just write it out here just as a check. We can say P24V uh, and I'm doing supplied versus absorbed. So I'll write that down here. It has to equal, exactly equal absorbed. So that would be P1 plus P for ix and those do both add up to 96 watts so check happy face oh that's a weird happy face and that's it so this is how you would go through so your final answer always good to return to your final answer I like to box it put whatever indication you have for showing that's a final answer that's your final answer that's all the power supplied or absorbed by each of the elements